Working behind the counters, these pharmacists would usually need a script from a doctor to fill prescriptions. An overhaul would give them more power to prescribe to rural and aged care patients. These will be pilot initiatives. They will roll out in coming months prior to uh, the 1st of January. Uh, this will be done in consultation uh, with our GPs, with our pharmacists. We think this is a very big step in the deep reforms that consumers in Tasmania are asking for in healthcare. For patients, the process could involve seeing their GP first. They diagnose the medical condition. The patient goes to a pharmacy who prescribes and dispenses medication. Repeats can also be prescribed. A year later, the patient would be reviewed by the doctor. It might be for specific patients in terms of access to care, in terms of management of uh, uh, chronic diseases, but also being able to provide acute treatments where required. Doctors welcome extra collaboration with pharmacists, but say tight regulations are needed to ensure patient safety. If doses are inappropriately changed, if treatments for symptoms of urine tract infection are inappropriately given, then there will be backlash from GPs. We will not be happy with this. Another pilot would allow pharmacists to treat urinary tract infections, a move that's angered doctors interstate. Uh, what might sound or seem like a UTI based on the presentation may not necessarily um, be a UTI. You know, patients present with symptoms, they don't necessarily present with diagnoses. The pharmacy changes are a national first and could be rolled out in other states if they're successful. The finer details are still to be thrashed out before the January deadline, including what medications are available and which regional communities are eligible. Adam Langenberg, ABC News.